Uh, Your Excellencies, first of all, uh, I want to concur with the Director General of UNIDO that Africa must industrialize. But I want to make five practical points as far as industrialization in Africa is concerned. The first one is we shouldn't make repeat the same mistake our forefathers has made by focusing on non-comparative advantage of Africa. So I suggest, and we in Ethiopia, we want to focus on our comparative advantage, where we can be competitive globally while industrializing our country. So I think this is one of the issues where we have abundant labor force, and we need to focus on labor-intensive manufacturing, which is our comparative advantage. I think this is one point that Africa should look into at this moment. As uh, Zainab said, we focused on textile and garment. We focused on leather and leather products, and we are now harnessing the result out of it. The second issue is Africa shouldn't neglect its agriculture because agriculture is the basis for industrialization, and we need to focus on modernizing smallholder agriculture as well as commercialized agriculture, which is very essential. Again, we should, our industrialization should be export-led. Otherwise, we cannot compete globally. Therefore, we should pass the test of international competition, and, and that is must. Even those productions we want for uh, import substitution, we should focus basing our you know, standards to export-led uh, industrialization. This is the point which I just want to make. These, these are some of the mistakes our forefathers made, and Africa has not, is not being able to industrialize very quickly. We have to also focus on our domestic private sector. I know many African countries are trying to attract FDIs, but we have to focus on attracting quality FDIs while transforming our domestic private sector, which is, if you want to make industrialization sustainable, this is the area where we can learn industrialization and research and development industrialization. I know there are many FDIs, good FDIs, but many FDIs look into current profits they can make, but learning sustainable industrialization needs domestic sector to be much more vibrant. So African leaders should focus not on all problems, but focus on key binding constraints. These binding constraints are the ones which can help us to move forward in helping the private sector to engage and uh, be competitive in, in this sector. So for us, every one of us said that energy is one of the binding constraints for industrializing, and we have to focus on uh, bringing energy into uh, our system. And of course, we have to be, this is the day that we need to have a renewable energy sources, not all energy sources, but renewable energy sources is, is, which is our comparative advantage in Africa, and we should also see this. The skill gap is one of the main binding constraints, and we have to focus on filling this gap. Again, logistics in Africa is, which hinders competitiveness for export market, and we have to see this also as one point. And finally, finances. Uh, I'm glad that ADB is with us, and similarly, uh, World Bank and other international financial institutions can help us in filling the gap of financing for industrialization. I hope the Addis Conference also has some uh, important issues. So finally, we need effective partnership globally, and uh, we thank UNIDO for selecting Ethiopia as one of uh, the pilot countries by seeing into our, our commitment for industrialization and using our comparative advantage. I would like to thank African Union Commission for organizing this conference and for uh, drafting our roadmap for 2063, uh, which also focuses on economic structural transformation and which important issue. So, ADB, ECA, 
working with us on Africa's economic transformation. We, we salute you and thank you, and uh, of course, OSA. And uh, I wish that Africa industrialize as fast as possible because we need to create decent jobs in Africa as quickly as possible. It's a, a young uh, population and we need a demographic dividend as quickly as possible. And I thank you for your kind attention.